Hey there guys, I'm Rose Magpie and let's talk about the best addition that you can give your cosplay or fursona. These are version 2 of ear gear from the tail company, animated ears that can sync up to your tail and all controllable from your phone. Just like with their tails, you can choose your custom ear covers. For me, I went with them matching to my my tail. This is what they look like underneath the covers. The band is sturdy and soft on the inside with grip, so you can be sure that it does not slide about on your head. There is an on-off button on the side along with a USB-C charging port and it comes with its own charger. Along with the ear gear themselves and a little stand, the box contained a cute little bag so that everything stays together, safe and secure. It makes it a lot harder to lose them. Inside this bag you'll find the USB-C charging cable, the power, and interchangeable ports for depending on your country. As a cosplayer who has started to attend more and more conventions overseas, this saves me so much trouble knowing that I will have the correct adapter for my ears without having to buy a new one. To attach your correct outlet, simply line it up and slide it down until it clicks into place. To change, carefully slide it off and then slide on the new one. Then all you need to do is take one end of the cable, plug it into the power and the other one into your ear gear and you're set. As previously stated, so that I do not lose them, I will put all the bits and bobs that I am not using back into the bag and I will keep this bag with my ear gear so that I know where it is at all times. Charging your gear is simple. Plug it in and you will see the red light meaning that it is charging. It was only at this point that I noticed the little fox detail on the band that had their logo on it and I just thought it was really cute so I had to share that. Whilst my ears charge, I'm also going to start charging my tail. It is in fact from the same company. Who would have thought? The tail company? Selling tails? What kind of a world is this? Well, it is what first introduced me to them and I got this custom cover for my tail included in the price. For a more detailed video on the tail, you can check out my YouTube channel, Rose Magpie. But enough setup, let's get to the fun part, shall we? If you haven't already, install the Crumpet app and load it up. Make sure both your Bluetooth and location settings are turned on along with the ears that you want to connect. Click search for gear and choose the device that you'd like to connect. To save future confusion, if you have more than one of their products or are in a space where a few people have some of their ears, you can name it. The top right hand corner displays how much battery is left on your ears and there's loads of fun options to explore and play with in your own time, but right now I'm going to show you some of the ear poses. The two options at the top, be calm and be excited, determine how quickly these moves will operate. As you can see, when I tap one of the moves it runs through the code to the ears and they move as instructed. You have to let one move complete before selecting a new one however. The tail company are always coming up with new ideas, code and moves for your gear. Fear not, you will not need to get a new set each time they do. You can just update the firmware within the app whilst the ears are connected and it will add the knowledge to your ears. It's so clever! They're even planning on making it so that you can write your own moves for the ears and add them to the app. There is seriously so much that you can do with these ears, I really suggest just giving it a play, loading it all up and seeing what kind of things you can do with it and looking forward to the future too. Time to explore a new mode, listening mode. Each one of the ears contains a microphone and as I'm recording this they are currently testing out on the ears moving towards the sound, which is so cool, it's just like a real animal. The covers I got sent are a great base, but I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to customise them and make them look a little bit more 3D while being on a budget. I got this set of hair chalk after seeing a tutorial for animal ear crafting on YouTube, and I'm going to use it to shade in locations on the ears to create some depth and customise them to more suit me. It also helps to take some scissors and trim the longer hairs where you want them to sit. I think this is a great time to remind you to go follow myself and the tail company on TikTok and Instagram. You'll see some incredible creations from both of us and who knows, you might get inspired. One ear is done and what a difference it makes. I will now repeat the process on the other side and add some earrings for that extra bit of dazzly detail. 
these are my finished ear covers. Time to put them on and mess about some more. Tilt mode had them moving as my head tilts and was a bit addictive, but what you'll probably be leaving them on at conventions will be casual mode. This will have them cycling through random moves every so often without the need for human intervention. And you can choose what kind of moves it will pick from. You know, I had to try on the ears and tails together, right? Words can't describe what childlike joy washed over me getting to do this. But I know a lot of you are going to be curious about how it sounds, so turn up the volume. Overall, these are an amazing addition to my cosplay kit and I'm always looking for new characters that I can add them to. If you want to get yourself a pair of ear gear, a tail, or have a look at anything else they have to offer, check out www.thetailcompany.com today. My name once again is Rose Magpie. Thank you very much for watching this collaboration video. I hope you all have a beautiful day, my friends. Until we meet again.